Hello, my name is Ramon Kutanda, and in these videos, um, I'm going to try to explain you how to use PFPX, which stands for Professional Flight Planner X, which is a software developed by Flatsin Soft, but it was um, uh, purchased, acquired, or is somehow managed by Aerosoft. So you can um, have information about it and buy it either at the official uh, website, which is flightsinsoft.com, or you can go to the Aerosoft and then in the tools and mission sections, you will find it, the professional flight planet X2 here. And you can have information and um, buy it anywhere because it's actually, you are going to get the very same product. Um, now at the back, at the bottom, sorry, uh, of the webpage, you will also find a link with, uh, for the PFPX forums, which actually go to the Aerosoft forums. So all the support is given, is provided here in the, in the official Aerosoft uh, forum. Right, so Professional Flight Planner X, uh, as its name suggests, is a tool for planning your flights. Um, and in, at least in my case, I would say that is an absolutely essential tool. And it would be very, very hard for me uh, to imagine or to be able to plan my flights now without this tool that greatly simplifies and adds a lot of realism to all your flights. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to do go sorry, to the download section and we are going to download the installation file which is here I'm going to get the full installation but periodically every time there's a new update you can get here and also find an update with as you can see it's it's got a much smaller size so you can um, get your update without having to reinstall the, the full installer also if you click on change log you're going to see what have been the changes since the last version. Now in the download section you will also find that it's also another tool which is TopCat and um, we will be talking about this tool later because it's, it really works with very well with PFPX. Uh, it provides some complementary information which is absolutely great and, and it works perfectly for some aircraft but we'll see it later on. Also take into account that when you go to the pricing tab, which is where you can purchase uh, a copy inside uh, flysimsoft.com, you have also another option which is bundle products, which you can and you can buy the both of them together, PFPX plus TopCat. Um, after you see the video, maybe you will consider uh, which is the right choose, uh, the right option to choose for you. Okay, so I've got already my copy here. And the first thing we're going to do is to right click and choose run as administrator. As you can see, my Windows version is in, in Spanish. As I said, I'm a Spanish speaker, so I'm sorry about that. And let's take English as the installation language. And well, I, I didn't say that before. The reason why um, PFPX requires you to run it as an administrator is be because Windows Vista 7 and 8 apply some special permissions um, to some folder and, and places on the operating system. And if the application that you run uh, don't have those, uh, the application doesn't have those um, permissions, you may get some strange um, functioning or malware. So uh, here, as I just said, um, you will need administration rights. As I said, the, the way to do that, uh, once again, is right clicking and run as administrator. Okay, but um, one of the folder that causes a lot of trouble is um, is precisely the the program folder, and and one of the ways to avoid that problem is to install all um, your simulation applications. Is not using um, the program uh, the the usual program folder, but instead of that, installing somewhere else. Uh, in this case, is uh, C. Aerosoft, but I'm going to make another change because in fact I do have a, a special hard drive dedicated to all my FSX add-ons. So I'm going to install in a different folder. So just right click next and this prompt asks you if you want to install real routes used by real aircraft. So um, whenever you try to make a route from for two common airports, maybe I don't know uh, Los Angeles, New York, and, and then you try to plan a, a flight between these two airports, you're going to get some real route used by real aircraft instead of just um, letting PFPX create or, or, or make up his own route. So we just click next and then the installation process begins. Uh, 
and you can run the Microsoft launcher but it's not necessary and I'm not going to do it right away okay so one of the first thing you probably want to do is to make a uh, direct access to your desktop so if you go to your all your programs and you go into the Aerosoft folder you want to find another folder professional flight plan X and here you've got the launch icon so if you make a uh, direct access here there it is now you may be wondering why I've got this other because all my desk desktop is completely clean you may be wondering why I've got this direct access here now um, in order to create all the all the routes and pl um, plan all the um, uh, airways and all the fixed points and VORs, uh, VORs we'll be using for our routes, um, uh, PFPX is going to rely on, on on certain information which is updated every every 28 days. That's called an ARAC. The ARAC contains all the information regarding the runways, the length of the runways, the altitude, um, all the taxiways, uh, all the nav aids, the, um, the as I say, the airways, the fixed points, VORs, NDVs, and um, in summing up all the information that you're going to need to plan and fly um, your, your flights, your planned flights. So if you're flying offline, that information may be, I mean, it's not as realistic, but if you, uh, for example, um, Flight Simulator 10 was released in 2006, if I'm not wrong. So we are in 2014, it's, um, it's been now for, for very long time without updating those uh, that information that um, nav aid so if you are only simulating offline and you're not very worried about the realism of your flight you may be okay with that but if you're worried about flying the real routes that real pilots use and or if you are going to plan to fly online and you want to make sure that you're going to comply and, and, and fly as everyone else is flying, you should definitely get this kind of updates. Now, the, the, the solution that um, Aerosoft offers is N Nav Data Pro. And then it's going to, it's, all, it's available in three different options. One of them is, is an update, but um, as I said, the ARAC cycle runs for 28 days. Now, in the simulation world, maybe not necessary to have as, as many updates. So Aerosoft decided to launch, to launch this Ford update yearly at a lower price of 1999 euros or another option is to have the 13 updates the full 13 updates obviously with a higher price of 29.99 or maybe you just want to update once a year or every now and then then the the option that you've got is a single data set for 899 so once I highly recommend to have this kind of updates and uh, I certainly do so once you've got it uh, you just go to need to go to uh, Nave Data Pro and then you can select you can have all these add-ons are going to work I mean once you get all your your cycles updates for for Nave Data Pro they are not only going to work or you have to pay for one application but you can use the very same cycles for all the applications available and there are more and more and every time for example as you can see there are some specific p um, prepared through the uh, v2 version 2 uh, plugins there all right so i'm going to go to the selected because i already selected p uh, professional flight planner x and as you can see here the warning tells me that the irac cycle is not updated as i can see the install cycle is version 1302 that means month 02 which is february obviously from the year 2013 so my my current cycle is uh, more than a year outdated so what i want to do is go to commands and use this button to update i could also update them all but it's not necessary because i only use this need this one so uh, this is the one i'm going to use so the first thing i need to do obviously to download the information from the servers and then when the information is in my hard drive, I just need to install. So as I can see now, I've got a green tick, which means my information pro for PFPX is updated. And as you can see now here, the version has been updated to 1403, which is uh, right now March 2014. I may close this now and I may open now PFPX. Now, as, as you saw before, uh, I launched it as an administrator, uh, PFPX. Actually, this is not necessary anymore you can just okay so the first thing you, you're going to be prompt is for your act activation key um, and that is exactly what I'm going to do now 
So obviously for privacy reasons, I'm not going to show you my current activation key. The only thing I have to do now is click continue. And obviously it's going to connect to the to the prefers, uh, to the servers and it's going to certify that uh, I'm not running this license on, on many different computers. Otherwise, your license is going to get blocked. OK, so um, we've got the welcome screen now. It has de detected that we are running PFPX for the very first time, and we need to set several things up. Now, um, these options, well, I'll tell you later where they are. Now, this uh, first menu here, customize menu, is just going to define which are the options that are going to show up here. Because they are so little, I don't see actually the, ne the necessity. I don't find necessary to remove any of them, so I always leave them. You can also change the style, but I never change the default. Now, uh, because I had it installed before, it has recognized my, my previous name from a previous installation. That's fine. Now you can use your user ID. That's my my identification for my private airline. And you can have here an email or full contact details. This is just for simulation purposes. It's not going to be um, used at all unless you share. Um, usually you're going to use your plans for yourself unless you run a virtual airline, which then you may um, dispatch your, your flight plans to your pilots. So maybe you would like to have here some kind of contact in case anyone has any doubt or something. Right, the program versions, as you can see, I'm running the latest available version, which is 1.14 at the time of making this video. And I also got checked, automatically checked for updates. Obviously, we would like always to run the most updated version um, available for us. Now, we've got a service subscription. And as you can see, I've got some days running. Um, I'm going to talk about this in just a moment so that you can understand better. Now, as you can set your planning units, kilograms, pounds, meter, feet, everything that you may need. Um, you can also choose the format in which your uh, routes, uh, your flight plans are going to file, as you can see, um, well, just two different notation formats. Uh, you need to choose the rules in the, regarding the fuel policy for domestic flights, international flights, or low, um, long range flights. So it's just up to you, as well as several more options here about the time you're going to taxi, the time you're going to hold at destination, um, the time you can, your oops, sorry, I click all, well, I click uh, enter um, accidentally, accidentally. Uh, so if you go here to the right, uh, to the upper left hand corner, you can go to program options, which is the option we were before, or you can just go directly using the cogwheel here. Uh, we were planning units, uh, yeah, this is where, uh, now as I said, you can just write here your name. And that's it. Now the database, as we saw, we updated the database using, uh, here you can have the publisher, in this case is Aerosoft. There are other ways to update, but in this case we've got Aerosoft. This is also indicated here, AS means Aerosoft. And as if you remember, I told you 1403 means month three, or the more precisely the third cycle, which corresponds with March. Um, uh, of the year 2014. Now, some information about that. Now, the weather. There are several providers, there are several ways that we can, um, obviously, P one of the things that PFPX takes into account when planning the route is uh, the weather, weather conditions. Uh, depending on the weather conditions, it's going to choose the right runway that you may that you may use and is also going to choose a suitable flight level for for your flight according to the distance and according to the winds and all that kind of information now there are several ways to get that information one of them is checking online but checking online requires an active subs subscription to them to what we saw here to the service subscription options provided by pfpx so what happens once uh, i've as far as I remember, I think it's one year after your first installation, you're going to get it for free. Um, you get you pay for the installation and also for the first year of service subscription. Now, once this ends, you may click here or you may go to the official website where the prices are. And as you can see, you've got Professional Flight Planner X and then the second option is Service subscri subscription. Sorry, Subscription. Now, uh, the cost is 1242 euros at the moment of making this video. If you've got any other weather engine, in my case, I've got Afti Sky, 
then you can browse and look for the weather station list. So, um, as I was saying, you can choose weather, um, which weather engine you're going to use. And if you use After Sky, you need to look for these uh, files, which are in a quite hidden place. It's not very, very um, obvious unless you have previously used these kind of files. You need to go to go. Uh, this of a hidden folder in your in your um, users folder, which is App Data. App data. Then you need to go to the roaming, which is the third. Then you need to find uh, look for Hi-Fi. And then here you're going to have several folders. One, one of which is weather. Now in this folder is where two, these two weather files are located. And then from now on, um, after uh, if I choose this option, PFPX is going to look inside this folder, which is where the most recent weather snapshot. Uh, are going to be located. Now if you use Rex, um, things are not so complicated and then if you go to the folder when you install it, if you remember I told you before that I've got a separate hard drive when I give all my FSX add-ons, if you enter into Rex, which is here, Essential Plus, and then you get into the folder Meta X XML, then if you click Accept, it's going to find there the meta report with the updated weather conditions. Now the same for F, uh, FS Global Weather, but I have never used this one, so I don't really know where this weather snapshot uh, is located. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I always use After Sky, and that is the one I'm going to click. Now with the uh, weights, you can use several default options. You can change the airlock count. For example, if I look my the, the air call air code of my airline. Um, Alpha Lima Zulu, I can see here that it's already used by the real airline Alta Flight, but this is not the one I'm going to use, so I'm going to change it with Air Al Andalus, which is my virtual airline. I'm going to click on Modify, and from now on, every time I type Alpha Lima Zulu, I'm going to get my the code of my uh, virtual airline. And then several options for the network, which we're going to see later on to check the, the status of the VAT sim and in uh, a VAO server. Right, so for the time being, uh, this is everything we needed to know in order to install and set up uh, PFPX. And then in the next video, we're going to see step by step how to create and use the main options of the PFPX uh, Flight Planner, Professional Flight Planner X. All right, see you in the next video.